Hey, hey, happy day. Wiser advisor stuff. I got it for you. Liberals talk less. Silent majority talk more. Right? That'd be right. Hey, I got more stuff for you. Here's an historian in uh, Montreal at the Dawson College, and he recently filed a human rights complaint. And he said, hey, people, I want to apply for this prestigious job. It's been posted now, and I was told that I can't. It's posted along with the job is posted to say that you have to be a woman, you can't be a white male, you have to be a person of color, you can't be a white male. I can't say it enough. And he said, I'm going to sue everybody that moves because that's wrong. He said, it is wrong. It's racial prejudice. I'm white, I'm a man, and I can't apply for the job. He talks like I do. Good for him. Color shouldn't matter. It's all about ability. And look at the armed forces in Canada today. I mean, you have to be a sissy, I guess, to get in because you're supposed to be a warrior. And there's so many other examples, whether it be the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, they have quotas of white people. You have to be an Indian. You have to be something. You can't be a white, particularly a male. That's very, very bad. I can't stand racist people. Ah. Anyway, talking about that, I recently went to a play in the U.S. of A called Hamilton. There's a lot of good reviews on Hamilton, but it's really about cancel culture. All the actors are black, and, and um, they do it in the whole play, in rap. And there was a girl sitting in the next box to us. She was about 12, I guess. And I could hear her say to her mother, I didn't know George Washington was black. I mean, cancel culture, it's just not nice. History is history. There are people in England walking around now with statues taking the cigar out of Winston Churchill's mouth. Wow, I mean, he smoked cigars. Leave him alone, don't you know? <laughs> I mean, you'd be speaking German if it wasn't for him. But there's so many things going on from the left. I mean, how about we do a theater production with about Martin Luther King and all the actors will be white? There would be an uproar. I mean, he was a great guy. I liked his line. He said, no bad law should be obeyed. <laughs> That's pretty true today as well. Hey, speaking of which, there's 7,000 laws, speaking of which, convicted pedophiles in California recently that were released and collectively they hadn't served more than one year. When you take the innocence of a child away, there is no worse crime. You should be hung from the highest tree, question mark, kind of, sort of, I think. And the government there, they let everybody else out. They might as well let pedophiles out, rapists and murderers. They let them out because they had bad childhoods and all kinds of things. And not nice. Not nice at all. And then they turn around and say, hey, by the way, all you people should not be allowed to be armed. Shouldn't be allowed to protect yourself. But you know what? People think that they, the left people, are against guns. They're not. They're not against guns. They're against you having a gun. They're against you having a firearm to protect your life. But they have people around them with guns to protect their life. So they're in favor of that. I mean, it's obvious to anybody with a mind that if you pass a test and you're law-abiding, you buy a gun, you don't do bad stuff. Statistically, it's proven over and over again. Criminals, they don't care about any of this stuff because they just go out and get a gun and do a criminal thing because that's their job. I mean, these left-wing people, bah. Now we have a guy, it's kind of funny. Keep it up here now. His name is Last Night. He's an advocate of human extinction. He says that the uh, people in the world have been hard on the world and we should all go away, but we keep breeding and we shouldn't do that anymore. He says, just feed, don't breed. And in a hundred years, everybody's gone and the earth is a better place. For who? I wonder, but this is what he says. Feed, don't breed. And uh, we'll take care of the people that are already here. We don't want anybody else. Oops, hey Les, the government beat you to it already. Years ago, they used to talk about birth control. Today, they talk about being a transgender or homosexual, so I think everything's gonna work out fine. There won't be any people pretty soon. Hey, I got some more wiser advisor wordage for you here to close off now. Here it comes, sit down. Very, very profound. If it's not yours, don't take it. If it's not true, don't say it. If it's not right, then don't do it. Right? <laughs> All right, see ya.